This problem is about finding the maximum height of siphon for preventing cavitation. Let us read the problem statement. Water is siphoned from a tank shown in the figure below. So there is a siphon here. From the, This is taking water from a tank, open tank, and it is discharging to the atmosphere. The water barometer indicates a reading of 30.2 feet. So this is a barometer which is giving a reading of 30.2 feet. Determine the maximum value of H allowed without cavitation occurring. That means we need to find this H. What is the maximum height possible without occurrence of cavitation? Note that the pressure of the vapor in the closed end of, end of the barometer equals vapor pressure. That means the pressure in this closed end of the barometer is at vapor pressure. Vapor pressure of the liquid liquid and the barometer. Atmospheric pressure is 760 mm of Hg. Acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meter per second squared. So we need to re report the maximum value of H in terms of centimeter rounded off to one decimal place. So this problem is taken from Munson 4th edition exercise problem of 339. So okay, let us proceed. Uh, so first thing is getting the vapor pressure from the barometer reading because uh, that is the uh, deciding point or is, uh, that helps to find uh, fix the value of get the value of h hmm? so for that we are going to get the vapor pressure data so always the pressure here at this point is vapor pressure or is that is given the pressure of the vapor in the closed in the end of the barometer is equaling to the vapor pressure so to get this pressure we know the pressure at this point and we know the height of the barometer so from the height data and the pressure we can get the pressure at this point so we know the balance for the barometer the pressure at atmosphere there is a pressure at this point or also the pressure at this point uh, because we have a static fluid also the pressure at this uh, point and pressure at this point are differing by this column of uh, height or is the pressure difference is available in terms of this column height so the pressure difference is p atmosphere minus p sat sat refers to the vapor pressure here so that is equal to 30.2 which is in feet convert that to meter uh, you know this is uh, conversion is uh, one feet is 0 0.3048 meter so we have this uh, height in meter multiplied by this is uh, multiplied by density in me, uh, kg per meter cube and uh, meter per second square. So this multiplication will result in a unit of Newton per meter square. So this is getting a value of 9319. So now we already know the atmospheric pressure which is given as 760 mm of Hg. So corresponding to 760 mm of Hg, the pressure is uh, 1.01325 Newton per meter square. Uh, 1.01325 into 10 power 5 Newton per meter square. Okay. Now pressure of the vapor vapor pressure is uh, p sat is now available from this uh, value ma, which is 101325 minus this uh, 9319 uh, so there is a difference between this and uh, this uh, is, we know uh, we will get this p sat which is coming as 11006 uh, 11, newton per meter square so now we know the what is the uh, pressure uh, or is, what is the minimum pressure that should occur in uh, a point in the siphon. So we, uh, for the siphon, uh, if you see the points are, or is this pressure is atmosphere, uh, this will be slightly um, lesser than atmosphere because of the flow happening. Okay. Uh, and here this is the point, uh, at this point, the pressure will fall to uh, or is, if there is if the height is exceeding a certain value we can expect the cavitation to occur with the pressure to fall below the vapor pressure if the hatch is exceeding otherwise we should not allow that condition to happen so we want to find the hatch corresponding to the pressure at this point of the vapor pressure this pressure this is newton per meter square in absolute values so corresponding uh, uh, since we have this in absolute values the pressure at the discharge is 101325 uh, 
newton per meter square this is absolute pressure of the atmosphere now uh, at least we need to find the h corresponding to the pressure of 11,006 at this point so always there is also a flow happening always uh, there is a velocity at this point to get the velocity at this point uh, first we can get the velocity at the exit for that we can make the uh, always we have the complete specification at the point 0 and point 2 at the point 2 it is open to atmosphere point 0 also open to atmosphere so we have the level data uh, and the velocity at the point 0 Uh, can be taken as zero because uh, with reference to this uh, area the area of the reservoir is quite large so velocity area into velocity so velocity will be negligible uh, in uh, because of the area a v equal to constant a r is a zero v zero equal to a two v two so v two will be appreciable in compare and v zero will be negligible so r is we have Uh, good specification at point zero and two. So because of that, uh, by using that we can get the velocity at two. So always uh, simply writing this Bernoulli between points zero and two. Uh, point zero is point zero and two are at the same pressure because they are open to atmosphere. So we can simply cancel these two, and the velocity at zero already, as already discussed. Velocity at zero is uh, negligible or zero, and H. uh this uh, height uh, with of this level zero with reference to two uh yeah there is this is taken as a reference so because of that it is zero so now uh, we are rearranging we have get the velocity at point 2 as root 2 gh okay now uh what is needed is we need to get the uh, uh velocity uh, yeah then using this velocity we can get the velocity at point 1 uh so velocity at point 1 and point 2 are connected by the way of this uh, uh, volumetric flow equality volumetric flow equality is always a2 v2 a2 v2 equal to a1 v1 so we have get the velocity at uh, 1 in terms of v2 always a2 can be simply represented in terms of always this is pi by 4 uh, d2 square by pi by 4 d1 square so always simply d2 square by d1 square so diameter is in inches this is in uh, inches so simply you can we are uh, needing only the ratio you can directly take that uh, in inches itself and we'll be getting the ratio uh, so v1 is available in terms of v2 v2 is already available in terms of h so now we have uh, the specification at point 1 as well as at point 2 so we know the velocity at point 2 in terms of root uh, h and velocity at 1 also available in terms of h so now we can apply the bernoulli between points 1 and 2 by applying the or is bernoulli between 1 and 2 p1 by rho g plus v1 square by 2g plus uh, this point 1 is at a height of 4 feet uh, sorry h feet plus 6 feet so h is h plus 6 uh, since already uh, let us keep this uh, uh, get the h in terms of meter so uh, r is uh, let us assume this h is also in meter going to be in meter So six can be converted into six feet can be converted into terms of meter. So now we have uh, this is in meter and P two uh, P two is uh, since P one we are going to use this data which is nothing but the uh, vapor pressure of water or is the minimum pressure to prevail at the point is the vapor pressure. So this is in absolute units. So I will also keep this pressure at two in absolute units which is one not one three two five uh, newton per meter square. so uh, now v1 square and v2 square are available so we know this uh, uh, v1 can be written in terms of v2 so v2 at uh, least v2 is already available in terms of h so now uh, simply replacing this v2 uh, yeah we simply replacing v1 uh, with v2 v1 with v2 v1 is uh, 2.78 v2 so we have this uh, side as v2 and uh, uh, resulted there is a h data okay this is uh, in meter okay uh, now uh, p2 is already available as atmospheric pressure and v2 that uh, is also available in terms of h hmm? v2 is available in terms of h so substituting that 
yeah this v2 square and v2 square rearranging and we have this uh, uh, of course one one corresponds to uh, this point okay so using that we have uh, everything now only available in terms of h so h is uh, coming as 0.954 meter if the h exceeds or is this is in terms of centimeter 95.4 centimeter if the h exceeds by this amount the, then the point 0.1 the pressure at point 0.1 will fall below that value. Otherwise, we should ensure that the hatch is not exceeding a height of 95.4 centimeter. So, otherwise, the answer is 95.4 centimeter. So, what is to be entered here? This is simply 95.4 centimeter. Okay. Okay, to quickly summarize, uh, here, uh, we need to find the height uh, we are given with the data of vapor pressure so based on this barometer reading so the vapor pressure is the minimum pressure to prevail at this point uh, so uh, always we, we know the pressure at this point we also need velocity at this point since the velocity at this point is not known uh, we can get the velocity at this point based on the velocity data at this point velocity at this point can be obtained by making balance between this and uh, this uh, because we have a complete specification here and complete specification here in terms of h we'll be getting velocity at this point will be coming in terms of h and using this velocity we can will be getting the velocity at this uh, point so now we'll be having uh, every data in terms of h and h can be uh, solved so this h is coming as 95.4 centimeter okay thank you